Okay, guys. So, sorry, I gotta adjust this a little bit. Okay, guys. I um was asked to do my xenomorph. This is my line work xenomorph. It takes uh, two balloons, three balloons, and then um, if you want to do the spikes down the back, it um, y it'll be uh, four balloons total. And then we use a little bit of the white to do the mouth, the head, the back of the tail. Now, if you have bee bodies, the undipped bee bodies, it does a great tail because it thins out and then stop and then curve that little thing up and it looks great but this is just to make simple things um, adding the bee body to the tail really doesn't take a whole lot and it's really quick and easy so what you're going to need is one 350 um, black and then two black 260s oh those are purple there we go two black 260s and then um, a um, third 260 black if you wanted to do the spikes down the back. First we're going to do is go ahead and take the 350 and blow it almost all the way up. You're going to have about about that much. And try the knot. Stretch a little. Okay, so what you're going to do is we're going to do a tulip twist, a long tulip twist, to do the back of the head of the xenomorph. So go ahead and stick your finger in there. You can lick your finger. I, I don't lick my fingers. I probably should uh, to get that thing. So we're going to take it. Now that I said that, I'm not able to grab that knot. push that finger out. So we got a long that twist. We're going to twist on the opposite side so the knot is over here. I'm going to twist. We got the base of the head and I do give it a little bit of a squeeze to kind of curve it. And then we're going to take about three fingers. We're going to do a bubble and then a pinch twist. That'll make his jaw. Okay? I'm going to do that. And then you want that. You don't want the tulip twist to, to be flat. You want it to curve. You got it like that. Okay? Now hold on to this for a minute. <clears throat> and then we're going to blow up. The 264 is arms. Okay, you got about. You're looking at about four fingers width of a tail. Go ahead and tie your knot twist. Now, depending on how you want his claws to be or anything, I just do three small pinch twists. About a about a finger's width, and it just makes a little bit, two, and then three, um, I just like that, uh, I know you can't really do the awesome claws that they have in the long fingernails unless you really want to get into more details with a 160 which is great. Uh, you can do that. Then we're just going to do about three fingers and we're going to put a joint. So these movable arm thing, movable arms here. And then a pinch twist. Okay, three, about half a finger or a finger and a half of a, of a bubble and then a pinch twist. And then we're going to do four to make the arm. <clears throat> Okay, like that, and then we don't put any type of pinch twist in there, because we want, I like it because the arms will come forward if we don't put that pinch twist. Then we're going to take 
this balloon and a good four finger bubble here. I'm going to twist on the 350. Go ahead and twist in this arm. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to match it up and do the rest of his arms again. Okay. That. And then pinch, twist. Squeeze it a little, make sure it's soft so we don't get it to pop, because black, we all know, black can be a very touchy color. Three fingers, and then we're going to do the three pinch twists, okay? Just a finger, one finger width of a, of, of a bubble, and pinch twist those in, okay? Two, and three. And it looks like I have enough if I break this off and and let a little bit of the air out we can actually use this for the um, spikes down his back okay as long as I break it off sometimes I'll break these off and I just don't do it right no it won't I didn't it's not going to work for me I'm gonna have to use another balloon okay. sort out the little so when you do it, and you see there's no pinch twist in here, because it brings it brings his, his arms forward, okay? Arches the back, and we're going to go down one, two, three, okay? Now if you want him to be more hunchy, um, we can do, you can do one, and then about three fingers, but I'm going to do the four, and then make, make that, okay? Now when we do his bottom legs, we want to make sure that they're longer than his arms. Okay? <clears throat> now for his bottom legs, you can do the three pinches. I do the three one finger um, pinch twists. This will give the same look on his legs. But I do his um, foot, four fingers, and then another pinch twist. And bring that foot up. Okay. Now you want to put a joint in there. I did one without the joint. It just does not look good. Bring up that leg. Okay. Let's go ahead and twist that in. Okay. Have it out. Do it again on this side. Did I do that right? I think I, I made my... Yeah, we're going to have it out. Because he's got his legs out. In the movie, I always think of him as the wider legs. Like um, lizard legs. When they're standing up and running across the ground. That's why it's out like that. Because these suckers can move in the movie. You know, they can run. You want them to run. So we're just going to go ahead and... And again, I have the bad habit of I have I, I um, didn't have enough room. Sorry about that, guys. So I had to let a little air out to finish off his leg. Uh, so let's get his foot, and then the three pinch twists. It's all those pinch twists that really does it. It'll sap up your space on your balloon with your pocket of air. We'll get that in there. Get off and then tie that in. Okay. Okay. Now I will put a pinch twist down here. And I do it up front here.
this helps stabilize his tail because we want to force that tail down. We're going to force that tail down so then you can do that curve. Now, like I said, if you use a bee body, you'll get that big and then and you push that air to the end of that bee body, the non-dipped bee body, and you will have that big scale down to the small, okay? And it looks great that way too. It's more uh, creepier looking and everything like that. So, get his legs sorted out here. Okay. There's some great fancier feet you can do, like I said. Um, I try to keep my line twisting down. We're going to go ahead and pop this off. Okay, now here he is without the back scale. Now we had the one and it blew off my bed. Um, and we have the one that, that did have the scales the down the back. This is something that some of the guys at the Bling Bling taught me or showed me or told me as I showed them this design. They said, hey, why don't you put the spikes down the back? So we're going to pop up the air, we're going to go ahead and twist this around, and just, it's a bubble, pinch twist, and bubble, and then a bubble, 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 and then pinch twist, bubble, bubble, and then pinch twist. Bubble, bubble, pinch twist. See? Bubble, bubble, pinch twist. Now, depending on how much you want, how long of a back you did, depends on how many bubble pinch twists you're going to do. You don't want to do too many because then it'll arch up and then it just doesn't look secure. He's good. All right, so now you got his spikes on his back. Now we got to do his face, which is, of course, it's going to be your white marker. I've got my Sharpie white because my edding is finally dead. I've got to order another edding. So I'm not a huge, excellent artist. So I'm just doing the sharp teeth. Try to make them um, you know, because this guy's like you know, the movie's pretty creepy scary, when I first watched it as a child, yes as a child I, it scared the crap out of me and that was the first one, which was Alien alright Xenomorph and he actually stands like so I like the way his hands come together like this. That's why I don't do the pinch twist there. You can if you want to have his hands farther apart, but for some reason do that. I don't make his hands too long. Um, it's his fingers, you know, his claws that are really long. But because of the design of this one, he just does not have that. So we'll call him Baby Xenomorph. Okay? There you go, guys. I hope this was a good tutorial for you. Let me know what else you want to see. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.